The Anuad Paraphrased The first ones were brothers, Anu and Padmai. They came into the void, and time began. As Anu and Padmai wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness created Nur. Both Anu and Padmai were amazed and delighted with her appearance, but she loved Anu, and Padmai retreated from them in bitterness. Nur became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padmai returned professing his love for Nur. She told him that she loved only Anu, and Padmai beat her in rage. Anu returned, fought Padmai, and cast him outside time. Nur gave birth to creation, but died from her injuries soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padmai was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds in their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padmai again. The long and furious battle ended with Anu the victor. He cast aside the body of his brother who he believed was dead and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the twelve worlds into one. Nern, the world of Tamriel. As he was doing so, Padmai struck him through the chest with one last blow. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time forever. The blood of Padmai became the Daedra, the blood of Anu became the stars, the mingled blood of both became the Aedra, hence their capacity for good and evil, and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the twelve worlds of creation were the Elnafe and the Hist. The Elnafe are the ancestors of Myrrh and Men. The Hist are the trees of Argonia. Nern originally was all land with interspersed seas, but no oceans. A large fragment of the Elnafe world landed on Nern, relatively intact, and the Elnafe living there were the ancestors of the Myrrh. These Elnafe fortified their borders from the chaos outside, hid their pocket of calm, and attempted to live on as before. Other Elnafe arrived on Nern, scattered amid the confused jumble of the Shattered Worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering Elnafe found the hidden land of old Elnafe, and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living amid the splendor of ages past. The wandering Elnafe expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but the old Elnafe looked on them as degenerates, fallen from their former glory. For whatever reason, war broke out and raged across the whole of Nern. The old Elnafe retained their ancient power and knowledge, but the wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nern. This war reshaped the face of Nern, sinking much of the land beneath new oceans and leaving the lands as we know them, Tamriel, Akavir, Atmora, and Yakuda. The old Elnafe realm, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the wanderers were left divided on the other three continents. Over many years, the Elnafe of Tamriel became the Myrrh, Elves, the Dwemer, the Deep Ones, sometimes called Dwarves, the Chimer, the Changed Ones, who later became the Dunmer, the Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, the Dark Elves, the Bosmer, the Green or Forest, Ones, the Wood Elves, the Altmer, the Elder or High Ones, the High Elves. On other continents, the Wandering Elnafe became the Men, the Nords of Atmora, the Red Guards of Yakuda, and the Tsayisi of Akavir. The Hist were bystanders in the Elnafe War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become Black Marsh and Tamriel, but most of their realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, the Men returned to Tamriel. The Nords were the first, colonizing the northern coast of Tamriel before recorded history, led by the legendary Ysgrimor, the 13th of his line, King Harold was the first to appear in written history, and so the mythic era ended.